creativity, I think it's uh, the light of uh, the humanity. Uh, if there's no creativity, there's no life. Uh, the way that you move or the way that you dress or you know the way that you do your things has to be creative it means that you have to create something you know so that is already a creation after a few months doing sculpture I really felt the need to have fashion with me. So I thought, what's the combination of both things? And for me, the answer was so clear. It was, I, I can just remember now, I was like, oh my gosh, shoes. I never thought about shoes in my life. And since then, I'm so addicted into shoes. I mean, it's like, I'm not a shoe addict, but I really enjoy doing shoes. you put passion in something and you really feel that your heart is is coming you know and you feel so great about what you're doing you know in the end at that product maybe six or eight months later maybe a thousand of kilometers away somebody is going to feel that same thing that you felt you know I like to collect books on uh, pattern making, packaging design, illustrations. That has nothing to do with uh, shoes, you know. Sometimes you find a book that uh, has just patterns, of flower patterns, and then the color combination is what you're looking for. So there's so many ways to, to, to squeeze. Uh, one of them that I like a lot is to cut out like small mm, shape of a shoe or just the outline and then I place around the magazine but you just place around and then sometimes you, you find these uh, color combinations or shapes that it's really interesting within that frame of the little shoe that you cut out and then you know if you like it you just trace it and cut and paste in another paper. I have like a, a, bitter, a bigger pattern of a foot. I place around the pieces of leather that I cut in uh, various shapes and I start to play around. You know, you're not afraid because you're just moving and then sometimes you just move and place little pieces and colors together and then I go and take a picture of it. And another thing that I, I usually do a lot is to place the pieces of leather on my foot. I wrap around and I just uh, throw ornaments. Sometimes you have like a, a little strap and you just put it on and then the design changes completely. And then sometimes you take it off and then you put another thing and it's a whole new design. You're just emerged into your, into your own world of uh, playing because I, I, I don't even think that I'm creating. I'm thinking that I'm playing, just a little child. All this will go to, again, to the archive and then it's my whole basket of ideas. When I start drawing, I start selecting, you know, this, yes, I like this, no, I don't like it, and then I start to select, and then, and that's like a big pyramid, you know, and you go down and then you make your selection of whatever shoes you want to make. Well, I actually don't think on anybody. I don't even think on myself, because all these things limits you, you know? If, you, if I think about myself, I would think on my tastes, on my, oh, I would wear this, I wouldn't wear this, about my clothes or whatever, and everything limits me. So I like to really go into a free spirit of, uh, you know, just finding something that you really enjoy it, a color that you like, 
or something that communicates something with you. When you talk about comfort, always have to talk about design. And when you talk about design, you always have to talk about comfort. I mean, take at these both things. They are married together, and uh, this is how a modern woman should know that you don't have to suffer to be beautiful. This is an old concept. The fitting process, I think it's a very important thing. We do it very seriously. We try all our shoes uh, twice before it goes to production. You know, we, we see if uh, it hurts or it doesn't hurt or it, the lines looks good or doesn't look good. So, you know, we correct everything before it goes to production. I mean, for me, it's not a 50-50 comfort and design. No, it's 100% and 100%. So working on mid-heels, it's a real challenge. You, you want to make uh, nice shoes, sexy and fun, but at the same time, very comfortable one. So, you know, you have to uh, work like uh, in a mathematical way, you know, to see what works well, the volumes, you know, play around the volumes. I think uh, it's uh, the solution for this. For me, quality is not just about materials. I mean, take a, there's two things. You can have like a very high quality shoe or product, but very poor in design, so it doesn't say anything. For me, the biggest joy is when uh, I see somebody that is really happy with what they got. You know, this is for me, like, everything. 